Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. I've come up with a new game for Fridays because, unfortunately, the Masked Singer is done. Oh. And normally we would have our yeah. Masked Singer recap on Fridays, but coming this fall, season four of the Masked Singer, and we will be doing the recap. And yes. Kelly and Kaylee, you look beautiful without your masks on today. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Even though it always Kelly matched for the appropriate character. Yeah, I always like that. It's perfect. All right. Uh, it's called AM. Uh, Fox AM or fiction. Okay. Now, Kelly and I submitted photos of celebrities. Mm -hmm. Here's how it works. We're going to have four celebrities on the screen, mm -hmm. and Kelly has met three of the four. Mm -hmm. She's going to tell stories on how she met all four, and Kaylee and I will figure out which one she's not telling the truth about, okay? okay. So it's Fox mm -hmm. or fiction. Yes, it is. So... I think you'll get the gist of this. I saw this on uh, social media, and I thought uh -huh. it was fun. It they were saying, fun. Yeah. which one of these people did I not meet? Right. So, three of the four. Oh, this makes me nervous. Why? I don't know. I don't lie very well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, Let's you have, see. it's a, a challenging acting role. It's an acting okay, role. Okay, ready? Here we go. So, we're going to play, you'll get the hang of it. Let's look at the four celebrities that Kelly has met. All right. I'm going to start here with Marie Osmond. Uh, worked with her when I was working in Vegas um, at the Flamingo. She and I chatted a lot backstage. Very, very nice person there. Um, Burt Reynolds, I met him out, oh, it was early, probably mid 80s, um, when I was out in LA um, at the Johnny Carson show. He and I chatted, uh, took some photos. Um, there we go. Olivia Newton John, I met when she endorsed me to be the first Olivia Newton John impersonator. Uh, and we chatted, and she told me what to wear, and she endorsed me for a segment in Australia in front of her peeps. And Cher, of course, I met when I did the Cher movie in 1999. I was the voice of Cher, and she coached me on what to do and what to say. All right, Kaylee, one, she was lying about one of these. Which one do you think she was lying about? Ryan Reynolds' father. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kaylee. That, that was the good. best, Kaylee. <laughs> do you know her, Reynolds? No. You don't know Burt Reynolds, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, so she's, you think she didn't meet Burt Reynolds? Yeah. Okay, I'm torn between Burt Reynolds and Cher because, as much as I know about Kelly, I know that Cher knows of you, but I can't remember if you actually met her. True. Because I remember Kelly saying, I don't think Cher likes me. I remember her saying that to me at one time. And Burt Reynolds, I don't remember... I could have met her and she maybe just doesn't like me. Well, I don't remember you ever talking about meeting Burt Reynolds, though, either. Okay, we're going to split the vote. You say Burt Reynolds. Yes. I'm going to say Cher. Which one? I have not met Cher. Oh! <laughs> okay, so that was I the fib. I have seen her in person, mm -hmm. but I have not actually met her. She does know of me. She does know of the movie. Don't know what she thinks about me. I think someone told me once that she said I was a better singer than she was. Oh, um, I, I mean, somebody in Branson saw an interview. Don't know. Anyway, okay. so that's that. Good job. All right, okay. Kelly, let's switch places. All right. All right, up next are my four celebrities that I've met. <coughs> I can't remember who I submitted. So <laughs> when it comes up, I'll let you know. Okay. okay. Who are these people? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Katie. Wait, that's Kathy Lee Gifford. Yes. That's the yes. only one okay. I know. Can, can I tell you how I met all these people, please? <laughs> sure. Okay. Up first is Tony Danza. Tony Danza, who's the boss? Taxi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's actually a very, very good uh, live performer. Met him in Las Vegas at the... What was it called? The New Orleans. Orleans. The Orleans. Orleans. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. He did a great show. He does a tribute to Frank Sinatra that's amazing. He was so lovely, and he met every single person after the show and took pictures with them, and I really respect somebody who does that. He looks like that kind of person. Yeah, he, he, he was so nice. Yeah. Alan Thicke from... Uh, oh. Who's the, uh, not who's the... Uh, uh, yeah. Growing Pains. Yes, yes. Growing Pains. A great songwriter and yes. jingle yes. writer as yes. well. Yes. I met him backstage at Live with Regis and Kathy Lee. Mm -hmm. He was not very nice to me at the time, but I did find out he was going through a divorce. Aww. So I figured he was just not having the best day and was like, I don't know who you are, skinny little kid. I don't want to take a picture with you. Was his wife, Gloria, who worked on Days of Our Lives? No, the one after that. Oh, <laughs> forget about it. The one after that, Kelly. Okay. Uh, Kathy Lee Gifford, by the way, met her at the same time I met Alan Thicke because Kathy Lee Gifford was hosting Live with Regis and Kathy Lee at the time. She also was not in a very good mood that day, <laughs> and I asked to take a picture with her, and she goes, hey, kid, I'm trying to do a show here. <laughs> and I was like, Ugh. <laughs> And then there was some other stuff that happened backstage, which I don't want to get into because that's not my tea to spill, so okay, I will not spill that. Right. Alan Cummings, Alan Cummings, an amazing character actor, been in lots and lots of movies, saw him on Broadway in Cabaret. 
He was wonderful outside the stage door, outside of Broadway. He took a picture with me, was very, very kind. I just am an admirer of his character work. He was in the movie Josie and the Pussycats. He was in The Good Wife. Okay. Anyway, all right, those are the four celebrities I've met and go. I am torn <clears throat> between Tony Danza and what's this guy's name? Alan Cummings. Yes, I'm torn uh, because I, I think I know. Uh, maybe I don't. Okay. Uh, I think you've not met Alan Cummings. Okay. I was going to go with Danza. Final answers? Yeah. yeah. It's Tony Danza! Oh, okay! I did see his show at the Orleans in Vegas, but, but I did not meet him officially. Like, okay. we were very close. He was nice. Yeah. And I could tell that. He was nice to everybody. Yeah. But, yeah, Tony Danza. All right. Everybody else, all right. Very good. All By right. the way, that Kathy Lee and Alan Thicke story is very true. Yeah. I, <laughs> very true. <laughs> you can tell. You can tell. Kathy Lee follows me on Twitter, and I have no idea why. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's look at Kelly's next four celebrities. I've got to think right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. First of all, Richard Marks. He was my first concert here in Springfield. Love his voice and everything. He looks I would, like Charlie Sheen there. Yeah, this was a very young picture of him. Richard Marks, I met him on a TV set. And very, very nice guy. He's now with Daisy Fuentes. Is he really? He, he divorced oh. his wife from fame or whatever. Her name was Cynthia oh. Rhodes. Okay. All right, Donny Osmond, worked with him also um, backstage. Very, very nice guy. Very outgoing, friendly. Um, actually complimented my tribute to Cher at the Flamingo. Uh, Goldie Hawn, when I was doing the Cher movie, uh, I was sent out on lots of red carpets in, uh, in L.A., she was backstage when we did the whole premiere because there were some other things going on, two other shows they were premiering. She was backstage, got to uh, talk with her. Uh, uh, Wayne Newton uh, performed many places he's performed, um, so definitely met him and worked on stage with him. I know it's definitely, I know she's met Donnie because mm -hmm. she met Marie, she met Donnie. I know mm -hmm. that. I'm torn with the other three because I honestly don't remember. I'm assuming she's met Wayne because he's been a performer, and I think that performer aspect. So I guess I'm torn between Richard Marks and Goldie Hawn. You're really analyzing this. I am. I'm trying to get it right. I'm going to say the guy who looks like Charlie Sheen. Okay, Richard Marks. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to go with Goldie Hawn just to split the difference. Okay, I yeah. wish I had met Goldie Hawn. I oh, did not know. Oh, really? I did I not. I believed you, though. Uh, yeah, um, there, were, there was uh, the guy from Wings, uh, the tall guy was Daly? backstage. Tim Daly? Tim Daly, I did meet. He was, that was the lie I told in place. Uh. Ah. Yeah. Okay, uh, Richard Marks was actually on Ozarks Live when I co-hosted oh. there. He was very, very happy and friendly. I don't know why I didn't take a picture. Cause I didn't you wanna, didn't take a picture? I didn't want to ask him for a photo. We chatted. He was very, very nice. He was doing a show here in Springfield, but he was my first concert. At, uh, yeah, awesome. Concert. So okay, it. so you knew Richard Marks, Donny Osmond, and Wayne Newton. Yes. Good job, Kelly. Okay. All right, that was good. You guys know okay, we have one final one of my four celebrities, and I can't remember it until it pops up. Oh, okay, guess. Okay. Okay, I don't, uh, know, I don't know any of these people either. Yes, you will. Here, let me talk to it. Jack Wagner, isn't that his name? Mm -hmm. Jack Wagner? Yeah. I get him confused with Robert Wagner. Yeah. Jack Wagner. Jack Wagner, star of Melrose Place. He had a hit song that we played on Record Time. Yes. What was All it? I need is just a little more time. Met him on the set of Home and Family a few years ago when I was on the Hallmark Channel. Mm -hmm. Bernadette Peters. Living Broadway legend, character actress. She was in the movie Annie with Carol Burnett. Mm -hmm. I saw her, I am telling you, best friend of my life, Annie, get your gun on Broadway. So nice. Loved her. Stage door. Got to meet her and take a picture with her. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Jennifer Love Hewitt, Kaylee? That's a weird picture, though. I didn't recognize it. Well, that. deal with it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Love Hewitt, I met in the Bahamas on a remote location of Live with Regis and Kelly. Mm -hmm. And she was standing back on the beach, and I just went, could I take oh, a picture of you? Oh, and then that's Remini. Leah yeah. Remini. Yeah. Leah Remini met at the Critics' Choice Awards. She was lovely and gave me a kiss on the cheek. I love her. Did she tell you about Scientology? No, she's out of that now. Well, she tried to wow. convert me at first, and oh. then I was like, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she did not. Okay, guess. Okay, I believe you did not meet Bernadette Peters. Okay. I almost picked that one, but I'm going to go with Love Hewitt. Kelly's right. It's Bernadette <laughs> Peters. I did see her in Annie Get Your Gun. I knew that. And she was amazing, yeah. but I did not meet her at the side door. Jeremy, I, I, I know you too probably, much about you. You know my stories yeah. too much. Uh -huh. By the way, Leah Remini did give me a kiss on the cheek and was super, super nice. Jennifer Love Hewitt was on the beach talking to Mark Consuelos, oh, Kelly's husband. Yes. I'll be, I'll be honest, I didn't even know who he was because I didn't watch the soap he was yeah. on. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of interrupted him and like, hey, Jennifer, can I take a picture? 
Super nice. Super nice. We hugged. Yeah. And then Jack Wagner was also very nice on the set of Home yeah, and Family. Yeah, because I knew that you did that. Yeah, so that's fun. That is, that what do you guys, so do you like the game? I fun? love the game. And we're going to do different right. things, not just celebrities, but other fun type of yes. categories. Good job. All right. We're going to have so much more fun after this. That one How in the corner looked like Bellatrix Lestrange. Who? <laughs> Who? Who? Who?